Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and when we last left off, we had just vanquished the Construct Hulk. That's a big gun. And now, we're about to go say hi to this guy. I remember a bunch of these dudes being put on Earth as gatekeepers. I also remember you can only wake them up with a horn. I wonder if the key will do the same job. It must be profoundly boring to be a door. Let's get these chests first, shall we? Don't normally get this kind of sick loot after a, uh... Dungeon. Ooh! Pretty. I like the runes. Ravager Bindings of Thorns. Let us drink that. Hmm. Let us check something. Well, we can get to that after we chat with this gentleman. Ah, oh, yeah, that would do it. Magic ghost hands. Hello. You're not very talkative compared to the others. Ah, oh, there we go. say that you can reach the Foundry, and that a Guardian lies within. The Foundry, yes. It is where I was cast, but it was lost. And now, you will need my help. Corruption spreads across your realm, and you slumber. Stone is heavy. It is easier to rest. In my dreams, I can move again. In my dreams, I am flesh. This place, what was it? I cannot tell you. It's on the tip of my tongue, but my tongue seems to be elsewhere. Will you help me, old one? Yes. Okay, so much for that little chest. But again, we can go back. In 
my slumber, I have felt the guardian reaching to my dreams. Hello. He is the strongest of us all, but in his heart there is a hunger. The guardian was built to destroy. He has much in common with corruption. That's ominous. You must speak with Adar and make your peace before we cross over. There may be no crossing back. That sounded like a point of no return, if I'd ever heard one. Didn't even put a, uh, teleport thing there. How rude. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, this door. Hmm. Room for a key. Oh, I see. It has nothing to do with those colored things. I just need to find a key to jam in there. Get there. Okay. I'm gonna jump cut over here. That sounds about right. So. Whatcha? Looks like this is the place. <gasps> Hello there. Oh, that was pretty painless. Need to get back to the uh, end of the dungeon. Okay, and another jump cut. Okay, and here we are where that dude was waiting for a few thousand years. Shiny. Holy F. I'm pretty sure that's more damage than my scythes do. Pretty. Alright then. Speaking of going back for chests, I got a message saying that there was a quote unquote legendary weapon back here that I missed. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but uh, it sounds great to me. Oh, 
hopefully, it'll be a nice pair of scythes to go with my new gloves. Oh, admittedly, these ones are still pretty good. Let me just check the numbers. Uh, okay. I'll be damned. They really do. Also, I had completely failed to notice that these three weapons were possessed so that I could feed other crap to them. I have to do that. See how. See if I can make Rusinov's axe good again. Well, it seems to me they didn't make the possessed weapons good enough. You have to feed them a ton of things in order to get them to level up, and, uh... Oh no, that's right, someone, uh, mentioned that to me. Apparently the reason for both of my problems with the possession system, you know, that being how much it takes to get them to actually level up and how much better they get, that was my fault. That was because I was feeding it garbage throwaway items. If you actually feed it good stuff, it fills up much faster and has much more impressive results. Thank you. Close enough. Uh... Let me see, which room was it? <sighs> and do I see it on the map already? No. Crap. I was hoping this would be simple. I believe it's supposed to be in that room where I did all the crazy jumping to get the, uh... Corruption blown up. Ah, uh, nerds. I had wondered about that particular piece of corruption there. it. Can I see it from behind this pillar? No, that's a wall. Uh, I guess I'd have to stand here-ish. Oh, where is that stupid thing? Oh, directly beneath me. Because of course it is. I don't even know if this is right. I'm supposed to be on the right side of the room when you're facing the front. Even facing the front is in facing the door you walked in through? It wasn't terribly clear, I gotta say. God damn it.
Uh, it doesn't seem to have done anything. Hey guys, I turned off the recording to go check out the uh, tip he sent, and would you look at that? Dust came and got friendly. Oh. Okay. It's in completely the wrong neck of the woods. What the hell is wrong with you? Fine. Be a little bitch about it. Is logic, but I've done it. Would you just <gasps> oh my, they're not even in a chest or anything. I would explain why they didn't show up in the uh, map. Omega Blades. The Omega Blades are built piece by piece from the shattered weapons of slain angels. When wielded, the Omega Blades ignite with raging fires. Each piece of the scythes, each strike of the scythes, can cause opponents to erupt into flames, and those flames can spread to nearby enemies. This effect, known as the Omega Fire, consumes all those who oppose the balance. Well, hot damn. All that, and they're still considered a secondary weapon. Man... They're difficult to put into words. How irritating I find that. And to all that trouble, I was all, all pissed off. For a pair of weapons that aren't even as good as the ones I found already. <sighs> well, since we're going on the boring tour, we might as well head back to the cauldron and check for any weapons we might have missed there, or chests rather. By the way, it turns out uh, the Chaos Fangs were uh, legendary weapons, too. Oh, nice. Cleared this place out. And just as I'd, su yeah, just as I'd suspected, you get those by having a save from uh, a save or an achievement, apparently, from a uh, from Darksiders 1 completion. Don't get that. But first... Maybe I'll feed these to something. That might make me feel better. Feed 
feel like this video had rather a lot of wasted time in it, but maybe that's just me. Incarnation of the end of things wants to get past you. Next time, let him go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take my frustrations out on some asshole. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Darksiders 2, when hopefully something actually happens. Later.